Bhagavad Gita, verse 4.28 Some perform sacrifice by giving their possessions in charity. Some by performing austerities. Some by practicing the yoga of eightfold mysticism. And others by studying the Vedas and acquiring transcendental knowledge. All who make such endeavors follow strict vows. Sarardavarshini Those who perform sacrifice by offering their material possessions in charity are called Dravya Yajnaha. Those who perform sacrifice by performing difficult austerities such as the Chandra Yana Vrata are called Tapo Yajnaha. Those who perform sacrifice by the eightfold process of Astanga Yoga are called Yoga Yajnaha. And those whose sacrifice is to study the Vedas only in order to acquire knowledge are called Svadhyaya Yana Yajnaha. All those who make such endeavors are described as Samshita Rataha, performers of strict vows. Saardvarshini Prakashikariti. Here, Bhagavan Sri Krishna is describing various types of sacrifice. Karma yogis give food grains, cloth, and so on in charity. This is their Dravya Yajna. They perform welfare activities that are described in the Smritis, such as digging wheels and ponds, establishing temples of the demigods, giving food and charity, and making parks and gardens. There are others who perform activities such as protecting their dependents and taking a vow of non-violence towards all. Their charitable activity is called data karma. There are others who perform sacrifice for the purpose of pleasing the demigods. This is called ishta yajna, and some perform painful austere vows such as chandrayana, which are explained in Manu Samhita. Kritshra Vrata Ekaikam Krasam Ashni Yat Tri Ahani Trini Purvavat Tri Ahan Kopavasit and Yam Atikri Ram Charan Vijaha Manusamita 11.214 For the first three days, a person eats one mouthful of food during the day. For the next three days, he eats one mouthful daily in the evening. And for the three days after that, he takes one morsel of food a day without begging. For the last three days, he fasts completely. This austere vow is called Krikra Vrata, Chandrayana Vrata, Ekaikam Rasayet Pindam, Krishne Shukle Chavardayet, Upas Prisham Stri Savanam Etach, Chandrayanam Smritam, Manusamita 11.217. On the full moon day, a person should take only 15 mouthfuls of food per day and take bath in the morning, noon and evening. From the first day of the lunar month outwards, he should reduce his food by one mouthful each day and on the 14th day he should eat only one mouthful. He is to fast completely on the dark moon day. From the first day of the bright fortnight onwards, he increases his meal by one mouthful each day, eating 15 mouthfuls on the full moon day. This is called 
Chandrayana Rata. There are others who perform sacrifice by devoting themselves to yoga. Their sacrifice is to perform Astanga Yoga while residing in a pious place or holy place. Patanjali has said, Yogascitta vritti nirodaha. Yoga means to control the various activities of the mind. The eight limbs of yoga are yama, adhering to regulative principles, niyama, abstaining from actions to be avoided, asana, sitting postures, pranayama, breath control, pratyahara, withdrawal of the senses, dharana, concentration, dhyana, meditation, and samadhi, trance, the performance of which is called astanga yoga. Other karma yogis call the study of the Vedas jnana yagya. This is their exclusive engagement.